Hello guys and welcome to Medup channel. Today we have a nice trading strategy for binary trading of course on pocket option. Uh, watch this video till the end to see the results. Also you can take part from my profit for free. Uh, also don't forget to share this video with your friends so we can increase your chances and let's get started. So uh, we are on the broker. I have already analyzed and selected all the currency pairs guys as usual. Today we have a one minute time frame trading. Uh, today I have also stock quotes inside. This means that everything currency pairs have OTC status for me and all currency pairs have a high percentage of payouts. Now, excellent opportunity to earn more money than usual. Mm, I guess that's nice chance. So. Uh, we have $300 also uh, and when trading on the OTC market I always place more emph emphasis, uh, emphasis in my trading on orient orientation based on the trend for purposes. So the next indicator is gonna be weighted moving average with a period of 15. Uh, also zigzag indicator which will show me the formation of local maximum and minimums with absolutely default settings guys and the CCI oscillator with a period of 10 as I said earlier today the main task will be to navigate the trend also search for local highs and lows and of course don't forget about the overbought and oversold areas that the CCI oscillator will show me so let's get start with the half of, of, of my balance uh, and I'll trade every open position uh, that I'm gonna open I will explain it in detail so we can understand more about the strategy so I think you shouldn't have any questions I guess if you have any leave in the comments or in telegram I'll answer you and let's get start let me select the first currency pair for today's strategy Okay, here in my opinion is relatively good entry point right away, but as in most cases, after opening a trade, there was a sharp impulse to move downwards. I think that this kind of behavior of the candle will not prevent me from closing my first position is in plus. Now uh, here, local minimum is being formed along the zigzag and I actually opened the trade on the formation itself of this minimum. I also focus my attention on the fact that the moving line on the oscillator is now in the oversold area. There is a slight reversal and then I hope I should see an exit to the top. So the trend here is mostly upward, local lows are updated several price levels higher and in general you can already see an exit right now, we have uh, 5 seconds. Yep, the strategy is works and I close by that our first position is in plus. I got this exit, there was a good upward impulse for this candle. Overall, uh, a confidently closed deal. I could say I completely satisfied with the result. I wish you too. So let's continue. All right, long position again, and here, by the way, uh, in my opinion, is also a relatively good entry point, and the logic of this transaction absolutely the same, guys, because this is the same strategy as in the previous one, with the exception that here the formation of a local minimum has already occurred, right? The previous candlestick showed a way up, and it sh it's possible that further dynamics of the movement uh, I may again hit down. But I don't think this will happen. I also exited the oversold area on my oscillator. The trend is mostly upward in nature directions, yeah? So let's look at the result of the second position. And of course, we are in the profits, guys. Um, same as the previous one and easy. The signal worked for me. Here you can use it. In most cases it always works and in most cases I always close such trades with a profit in like 80 or 90% of cases. So let's continue. I'll also leave a hundred and fifty dollars per trade. Let's get started and let's select the next currency pair. 
All right, let's do the same again. Third in a row long position. I'll try to open long, of course. I open the trade against the tra direction of the trend dynamic. Now, a bit of risky trade, I know, but I prefer to take more risks than to seed later and bite your elbows, if you know what I'm talking about, saying that you still had to open a deal here. The entry logic remains generally absolutely the same, guys, even with downward dynamics, right? Again, the formation of a local minimum along to the zigzag. Now, for the third transaction, I have not been guided by the weighted moving average. I promise that in the next transactions, this will happen. But nevertheless, yeah, as I said earlier, I think that I have there will be uh, I have the exit and the dynamics of the movement will go up. So let's look at the result of this third long position. And of course, guys, hell yeah, we're in the profits. That's great. You need to correctly, uh, in such cases, you need to correctly navigate along the zigzag and for the most part along your moving line of the oscillator. And as you can see here, I had a rollback at least so far in one candle. And in this candle, I managed to get it, of course. The correct opening timing led me to a successfully closed trade, but such trades are less successful than previous ones, guys. Remember it. So I'll try to, I'm trying to open, uh, try to open trades that you have seen what I demonstrated earlier. In fact, let's continue. Now we will try to focus on the weighted moving average and let's get analyze it. Okay, here I will focus on weighted uh, moving average, of course, not directly, uh, a trade that would suit me. Uh, also, there is a small crossover of the weighted moving average. The crossover occurred from bottom to top, but there was no obvious crossover. So I was a little hasty here, uh, and we had to wait for the next candle to appear, right? As you can see, it immediately rushed down. Nevertheless, in my opinion, I already opened a position here. Also, a way out uh, of the oversold area. According to my oscillator, it was already there. These rules were followed and also the formation of a local minimum also occurred. So here I already opened the trade and the continuation of the upward dynamics. Let's look at the results. And yes, of course, we're in the profits, guys. Anyway, uh, the trend dynamics turned out to be stronger. We saw the fact that my candle uh, closed in green was based on the intersection of the weighted moving average. And in general, my uh, guidance for this transaction was absolutely correct. I opened the transaction only at the intersection itself, guys. And in general, I fixed it in plus. So I also leave $150 per trade. Uh, let's continue. Strategy is really gold stuff, guys. You need to try it on just right now. Take your uh, computers, go to the pocket option and try it on with me. Okay, finally, short position for today's session. The entry logic is absolutely the same, guys, here. So let's highlight the workspace for you. Uh, all right, before this, there was a very strong upward price movement, right? Uh, updating the local maximum along the fractal, here's an intersection of the weighted average moving line too. I observed a tap down and also exit from the overbought area on the oscillator, guys. So let's look at the result of this transaction and let's wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Unfortunately, the deal closed with a minus. I think this is my mistake. Uh, incorrect timing of opening a trade lead me to the ne negative results, guys. As we can see, the previous candle closed in the Dodger button. Yes, and this is quite ambiguous uh, and indicator for further dynamics of movement. But we see that after crossing 
the weighted moving average the next candle also opened in red and went down so there are no chances uh, for uh, further rollback I missed it a little but as I said earlier guys it's better not to open such trades against the trend with this very decision I just paid the price and closed the trade in a minus so this is like bad thing all right i cannot say more so let's to consolidate the results uh, let's select uh, one more deal let's open it and take a little risk but even with the professionals it's not a risk it's like the, the way you move you know so let's final uh let's open a final position all right let me still open short position here there is all the potential for further downward movement and here in my opinion an open trade in a good timing and at a good opening level the weighted average moving line is crossed uh, crossed again from bottom to top and i think that the roll, rollback of dynamics should continue finally i had a way out all right from the overbought area on the oscillator too so the moving line should now tend to the oversold area, so a further price rollback should still be present. Let's look at the result of our final position. And yep, we're in the profits, that's nice, uh, makes me feel good. Uh, actually here, as I said earlier guys, I opened the deal much better than the last time and in general. You see I hit the right opening timing and closed the deal with no problems. With the plus of course uh, since the green candle uh, has already appeared again and in general the dynamics uh, in this part of the moment are beginning to be dominated by a flat state uh, but nevertheless again the transaction has already been caused in a positive way i'm an excellent profit for today and i'm absolutely satisfied with today's trading let's fix it let's move to uh, move on to the conclusion to my favorite part all right operation successfully completed guys so this is the strategy for today try it on i wish you like it leave me uh, reviews about this strategy in the comments in the telegram channel there's a lot of information too and strategies and signals too in copy trading of course you can just connect to me and copy trade me so don't forget about the likes, comments, subscriptions to my YouTube and Telegram channel. Have a good market, have a good prices, oh, profits, sorry. Bye bye.